All right, you're watching DefenseReview.com. We're here with Pete Bratz of Midwest Industries, and he's going to show us some interesting uh, 1022, Ruger 1022 furniture, and uh, Ruger... Um, PC carving. PC carving furniture. Yep. So here we go. We did some uh, neat stuff with the Rugers. So starting out, we did a chassis and a series of handguards for both the 1022 takedown and the 1022 fixed barrel or non-takedown so to speak so this is the 1022 takedown right here and it's a we've got two different lengths of handguards a longer one like you see here and a shorter one like you would see on this here uh, fixed barrel gun that's a charger obviously but still a 1022 uh, they still allow you to do all of the takedown operation that you could before installation but they allow you to use your favorite stock uh, and grip. Or if it's in a charger or pistol variant, you could still put a brace on there for those who want to make them into a braced pistol. Super simple installation. And uh, let's see it from the other side real quick. Absolutely. And we also make four of these, a mount that allows you to put aim point T1, T2, like the micro aim points, and any of the mini clones on the gun at a super low height so that coming off of this stock you can actually get a good cheek weld. Very cool. All right. and we've got the 9mm. Yep, then we'll move over to 9mm, just going a step larger so to speak. We make handguards and chassis for these as well. We make the handguard in two different lengths. So as you can see this one comes out flush with the front sight, whereas this one down here stops a little bit short. Both are popular options. Then we make the chassis. We actually make two different versions of the chassis. So this particular chassis has our mil spec diameter buffer tube. The idea here is we had we used our own buffer tube. We had to keep this low enough so you could get a cheek weld to use the factory iron sights. But you can put any of your favorite stocks on there. Now even though it is an aluminum chassis, it actually weighs an ounce less than the factory stock but you do have to add in the fact that you're going to have some weight from whatever stock and grip you put on after you install that. Yep. Another cool feature with this tube is we put a watertight storage compartment in the back of it so you can put whatever you want in there. Very cool. Awesome. The other ver version of this, instead of having our tube on here, has a short piece of Picatinny rail right here. And what that allows you to do is put on your favorite folding stock. So this particular one is a six hour stock designed for like the MCXs. Yep. But with that, you can fold it. And with it folded, you're still able, even if you had your charging handle on this side, you're still able to use that. This is our charging handle in this gun. Bring it back around so you can see that. Yep. It's got a knurled surface so it doesn't slip and it's just slightly larger than the factory one. Very cool. And this is all available right now? Available. Uh, 1022 stuff will be shipping shortly. Ruger PC stuff is all available right now. Very cool. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it, Pete. We are at the Midwest Industries booth at SHOT Show 2020 and you are watching DefenseReview.com.